Nobody goes to a Saints game and don't get drunk, bro. It's crazy. I like to go and not get drunk. Watch the game, for real. For real. I do. I really do. I swear by that. Shit happens. You know what I mean? And then pass that rope. That's the blood. the hood. Fuck the hop. He said, oh, you want a shot? I said, uh, yeah. Y'all from the city, fuck me, now y'all from the city. Light it up, light it up. Welcome to you, the Raw Room. Hey, so speaking of people just walking up and doing wild shit. Mm-hmm. What's the wildest shit you have ever had a regular stranger, just a stranger, yeah. I'm talking about you just minding your damn business walking down the street. What's the wildest shit you ever had a stranger ask you? Ask me? Like a favor to Just do. a favor. Hey, can you excuse me? It wasn't you? even here. It comes right to my head. It was in San Francisco, actually. Oh, shit. Okay. I swear. That about, yeah, they I get. swear. It, was, it wasn't even in New Orleans. It was in San Francisco. I was nowhere near McDonald's, and I mean nowhere. And I know that's crazy because McDonald's is everywhere, right? <laughs> yeah, well. I wasn't nowhere near McDonald's. And somebody asked me right when I walked at this hotel in San Francisco, Hey man, you got a McGriddle? And I said, no, I ain't the got fuck? it. I said, no, I ain't. I mean, but hey, he sounded like, and you know, the home is capital right there. That's so. But you want to pick I'm, what you're going to get on the menu? Yeah, hey, <laughs> if that's what I like to eat, I'm going to ask, hey, do you got a sausage Mc- biscuit? <laughs> That's different. No, nah, yeah. So I'm you go in the order. Is all right. More. All right, let me, you got a hot plate. You got the pancake plate. Let me get that. You asking me for pancakes? You getting a little? <laughs> that's a little too much. No, right. yeah, yeah, I feel that. I feel that is that. a little. That's a step away for asking me from for crepes. You know, yeah, like why you asking me for crepes? I feel that. So you, I feel that. So you guys just ask like small shit. Can I get a hash brown? Why did he ask me for a McGriddle? Is what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> that nigga was hungry. He homeless. It's That's the homeless not a biscuit. Capital. Sausage biscuit. I would have been like, you know, I'm gonna look around, see if they got. <laughs> you gonna look around? They got a spot. They got a spot. I can get this man a sight because I'm feeling for him. But right. no, that wasn't. Nah, yeah. That's okay, a lot. now That's I'm gonna tell you the people this and. Y'all shit. might feel some type of way. Shit was wild. The shit was wild, though. Y'all was, might feel some type of way. Really, guess what? It was really fucked up. Down here, they don't ask you for the same... They ask for the same shit just, down here. No, give me a dollar. Just wait. Nah, no, just wait. No, no, no. Just wait. I ain't had nobody ask for no money. No, nah, it was not no money. Oh, no. We walking down the street. Down to Cater. Mind our business. Chilling. Yeah. E- eating the fucking... Uh, what's the shit? Uh, kill wins. The ice cream. The ice cream. I you had just got some kill wins. Yeah. yeah. Later, turn around, look at Jalen and say, hey... Can you push me in my wheelchair? Mm. Now, listen, listen, listen. I know some of y'all think, oh, that's rude. You fucking assholes. I would have shut the fuck up. Why you didn't you help Thinking her? in my head how I would go about this. See? Look at it. And if you got to think about it, that means you probably would have said no. Facts. Right. So if you got over here and said, think, no, no, shut right. the fuck up. You walking down the street, you see somebody pushing an empty wheelchair, and you walking Put, by. She already pushed on the wheelchair. They turned and around. Not, it ain't like she was just going slow. She was walking. She Regular was walking pace. normal as hell. Good pace. Wait, wait, wait. She, wait, wait. she you wasn't her in the wheelchair? No, she wasn't she in was, the wheelchair. She was pushing, she was pushing oh, that oh, an empty wheelchair. Okay. That's and, a grocery bag. And she, and she said, oh. And she had shit in it. She said, oh. That's a grocery bag. She said, oh. Oh, Devin, can you push me in my wheelchair for a little bit? Yeah, she said for a little bit, like she pointed for a down little that bit. way. What does like, this mean? Like how you Did know she want to sit in it? Yes. Okay. She said push. But she wasn't sitting in it. No, she wasn't. She, she said a mob push me just like a... in the wheelchair. I'm out. That's crazy, right? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm out. That's crazy. That's why we had. I had to give y'all the details. I had to think. I don't think it's that hard though, because I mean, you go from not wheelchair to wheelchair. That's not a sympathetic thing. I'm sympathetic for people that are actually like they trying to get it how they live in the right wheelchair. in the yeah, wheelchair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you not ask, not hey. you you rolling an empty wheelchair. Exactly. To me, that's go, that's the grocery store. Am I gonna help somebody load their groceries into the the truck every time? No. If she's a hundred years old, yeah, 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 right. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Right, 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 absolutely. But no, no hundred. That, yeah. that was not the case. That was right. not the shit. Was wild. Then some more shit happened. Me and Jalen just sitting down talking. And he brought the subject of Canada having Fruitopia. And I was like, but what the fuck? They drink? Yeah, yes. they drink Fruitopia. What the fuck ever happened to Fruitopia? I say they, they, I don't don't have, they don't have that here no more. My sister used to bring them home. Never selected home, it. Bro. Right. 
Never and selected. I hate to smash it's actually some kind of shit fire. out the It's kind of fire. It's actually fire. I never selected it, but I saw it every time. But I didn't either. My sister used to come <laughs> home with that <laughs> shit. <laughs> and she used to have like two or three of them holding the refrigerator. Because nobody knew what Fruitopia was. No. But it's like going to another planet. Now, now listen. <laughs> do you think it was real fruit in there? No. Absolutely fuck not. No. The fuck not. But. Fuck no. But. That shit was busting. It was. It was. I found a new. I found a new love for Fruitopia in Canada, bro. Because it's like they didn't have, they didn't have the same options. They had Fruitopia some... was a main. Like I saw that. Everywhere. It's like Delaware Punch. Can we talk about Fruitopia, Delaware Punch? Let's for look a up, let's look up Delaware where Fruitopia Punch. from. Babe. Yeah, I want to see where Fruitopia because they now, still who... they still jamming up there. But they, prob- they, they probably they do still have them. it in some places in America. But oh, it didn't die. I don't think it that's dies. why I told him it didn't die. Nah, it's died. discontinued 2003 in America. Ooh. Oh, well, 2000, we lied. That's about we when lied. I stopped. Honestly, bro, that's about when I stopped looking at it. Yeah. 2003. <laughs> yeah. That's a, dude, seriously, bro, if you could pick a year, that was right there. Yeah, it came out the year. I mean, the game years, documentary United came States. out about a year after. Come I remember on, look at these flavors. Time. Now, listen to these flavors. Strawberry passion, awareness, kiwi berry, ruckus, beach lay, blastberry, blueberry, watermelon, wisdom, orange undercurrent. You hear me? Tangerine wavelength, raspberry physics, and I lemonade, pass. fruit intake. That's right. wild ass. They got, they, they do got some gotta great. drink that fruit shit. integration. No, I passed on every one of them. <laughs> that shit say. I fruit never knew the name of them. I no, I didn't hear five the red, of them. the pink, the green, the blue. That's all I knew. Yeah, I about to say I we never were knew running off of vending machines at that time, bro. That's Bruh, the thing. Y'all ever but did the I trick always... where you can get two drinks in the middle? Oh, it was to kill. It was always. Day. It all. It was always a trick. I, I used shook to it. kill. It no, I ain't. Ha- no, you don't shake it. What did you do? So you know the ones that go like it go up. Wait till you come out. It's gonna slide the drink over. <laughs> you know, you put your hand in that bitch, and it was da 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 It won't come and out. It would make it, and it'll go back up and re bring that bitch out again. And you just let that become pow, pow. You got two of them hoes. So it would act like it never dropped it, right? It'd be like, damn, I didn't, I, used, I didn't get it. So drink. I used to be in my sister's game, bro, had a basketball game, but I used to be in the back. Hey, I right, give me $5, I'll get you two Gatorades. Right. $5? Yeah. I mean. Because the Gatorades at the, at the cassette stand was already $3. You were on a and food if you truck, wanted two, you, you hear me? If you wanted two Gatorades, they're going to call you yeah. six. Just give right. me the five. Right, right, right. This nigga was <laughs> So imagine if somebody game. said, hey, man, give me a Fruitopia. What did and you I've say? been like, hey, which one is that? <laughs> Facts, which one is oh, that? Oh, yeah, that's my sister. I got you, bro. I got you. Hey, because that's a name, man. You, t- <laughs> you tell me to get you a Fruitopia, man. I got to stop. Damn, man. they had like... box Fruitopias? They... Oh, yeah. Like, it's a mini, in the jug. That's a mini like made Fruitopia. I never actually ever never saw that in that. my life. I ain't never See, seen that's that. what that the Sam's Club membership got you back then. Yeah, I, I never had one. You never seen that. You had 72 of them bitches. They kept saying, get a Sam's Club membership. You know what else is not, is damn near discontinued? Limos. The mm. lemon heads? No, no, Limos. no. The car. The limo. limousine. Oh, limos. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, who does that? Bro. <laughs> who does that? It Only is. 18 and under, bro. That's it. Right, because prom. You better be it. 18 and under to get in the fucking limo. That's the only time. Oh, man, you brought up a subject right here. Adults, dude. maybe Vegas, but then no. But for what? Exactly. You pulling up to a to a. a they a, don't show a, no nobody pulling up because nobody, nobody does pulling, that. Who, no nobody more. do that. Nobody does that anymore. And if you think it, I would, you're fucking lame. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> dude, I never forget tenth grade. Nigga, Everybody be, wanted bro, to being in a limousine. Coming. I wanted to come to the school piece of Home party. Get dropped off in a limo. Yeah, the aftermarket company. See, that's the thing. I don't even think they make limousines no more. I think they just still got the ones from like 2001. Right. And they just like refurbished them like an old iPhone 6. I might start pulling up to my shit on the... They got to be on the... They got to be cheap hey, right bro, now. Hey, bro, listen, They bro. do got to be cheap. Hey, bro, a raw room limo. Bring it back. Don't fuck them Everything up. comes back. Hey, man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, what, what Darren usually say right here, hey, Faye, cut all this shit because somebody going to steal our idea. <laughs> hey. Somebody going to steal our idea. Cut that shit. Hey, real talk, bro. I can't believe you brought up limos right away like that, dude. That's such a crazy it's subject. Just, we don't, look, we don't play around here, man. We get straight to it. Limousines just a real commodity. Have you ever rode in, ridden in a limousine? Yeah, dude, okay. in high school, and it was like when, when we got it for homecoming and, you know, it was like them dances and shit. Right. We felt like there was like a, there was a spiritual feeling in us that like we did it. Yeah. But we see, now it. by high school, I ain't, no, I was trying to ride in, in the whips. I was trying to have my own whip to prom. Oh, no. To, to homecoming, school. we were like not even driving. I don't think yet. We were just like, oh, let's no, pull yeah, out I, the sun. My nigga was nah, definitely not driving. Middle school, though? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to be out the sunroof. In the limo. Fade blowing in the wind. 
It's just crazy because like the Hummer made a limo. And bro, it, listen, bro. It was Corvette limo, Charger right. limo, Cadillac CVTS's right. limo. Right. It was fucking all the stupidest cars in the world that were limos, bro. Absolutely. It's like how and why the fuck is that a limo? Look at that Camaro limos. What for what? And that's transformer at the limos. Same time, I'm thinking like if you have one of them right now, like you got to hang on to it. Listen, if you got it, like, <laughs> you know, you I, have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like 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 he's showing right there. That was an antique car. Oh. That's an antique. I don't hear that shit don't come out of the garage. Yeah, I don't hear nothing, but nobody trying to buy that from me. Unless bro. you got the limo like Pinky. If you got the same limo Pinky had. The pink joint. The pink joint. Right. Now, now yeah. you can slide yeah. around. Yeah, let that, let that. You can know. slide around the Pinky joint. Man, limos really what a shit at one point, man. Man, Jason, tell them who we got here today, bro. All right, so, damn, I didn't just put a candy in. Anyway, oh, yeah. Put so we got a... Uh, snacks is back. We got a uh, Louisiana legend. Now, now, everybody know him. In Louisiana, but everybody don't really know him, which is crazy to me. Like, it's crazy. It, it blow my mind. It's like, crazy. Because cool. they swear his name is Mayo, it's John. John, nigga. Like, I thought it was fucking... They, they call him the know. red beans and rice dude. Exactly. Like, no, nah, I've, I've been watching John for so long, bro. Mm -hmm. I said John. That that was for the... Uh, for the I Louisiana love people. No, no, I but, told you But I've been, watching, I've been watching Devin for so long in the intro, bro. My name is Devin. Snow like John. I know nothing, bro. That shit got me going, dog. Hell yeah. What My dog in the building. The, the real red beans and rice, dude. The real red I beans I love how somebody with a... With a <laughs> with some crazy ass exhaust pass on the engine. And that car ain't going fast that, that's at all. That's so right. New Orleans yeah. right there. Fast. And that, fast. no car type of car to be loud, don't be fast at all. Yeah. No, right, right. Yeah. He's just trying something. Right. Yeah, that's like when right. I used to put uh, cans on my bike. <laughs> oh, boy, that shit used to go crazy. I used to be like, yeah. Hell yeah. That shit used to go crazy. He got an engine on. <laughs> yeah, I just, some, Buddy, some cans. Nigga thought I had a dirt bike in that bitch. So no, go but, ahead. Uh, hey, look, I'm, I've been waiting to ask you this ever since we just posted up outside. Get us, go ahead and tell us the, the journey, the, the avenue you started getting to do this, where the red beans and rice come from. Well, you got to go before that. You got to go before well, that. Well, that's, that's the first thing I'm going to is it was, it was, all right, I was selling cars, and I sold cars, and I sold a lot of cars, and I did really well in the car business for four or five years, four and a half years. Yeah. And I just kept having people in there, they were like, that was selling cars to they like, you know, you should be on TV. And, you know, they kept saying it. They kept saying it, you know. And at last, I was like, you know, maybe I should try to start doing some video work or something like that for the car business. Mm -hmm. so, yo, let me, get, mm -hmm. let me get some people in here to buy me some cars, right. to buy some cars for me and shit like that. And uh, next thing you know, bro, I couldn't stay with the car business. And I always just wanted to do more. You know, I grew up watching comedy. Grew up, you know, still to this day, bro, I'll go on, I'll subscribe to these stupid-ass apps just so I could go watch, like, Martin show. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm absolutely. saying? The like, shows that they took know, off TV. Like, if there's shit. anywhere in yeah. Living Color is, like, I'm trying to find it. You know, right. like, I'm just on some, like, real comedy shit. And I just couldn't stay away from it. So I started making different videos. I made a Mardi Gras video in 2020, bro, right that before. That video and that, is fucking, yes. Just, and bro, that video, bro, DV, I wanted to show you at lunch. That video is so fucking funny, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. And, and I got to be real here, real quick, and we'll we'll move on. But, Jalen Collins been following me since that. And that's say, just crazy to it's, it's been a long think ass about fucking time, bro. Because yeah. I come really off the couch, bro. I'm a straight up, like, yeah. why would you even know about me? Right. Type dude. <laughs> I'm just watching shit on Twitter, bro. I'm the most that. You know, I'm like Andy Milanakis. <laughs> <laughs> Times two. Oh, some shit. Oh, some you know? shit. And it's just, you know, that's how long. And that's just love, man. But yeah, that, that video made me quit my job. And then it was COVID Damn. hit. Right. So I quit my job February 2020 yeah. off that Mardi Gras video, yeah. thinking I made it off 500 likes. Hey, no, that shit was. <laughs> shit was yes. Right. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in there. I'm a manager at, at Lamarck Ford, hey. the best dealership in the state. Hey. And I said, you know what, guys? I said, fuck this, man. I said, I think I made it. <laughs> And I was already working on holding mail for like six months before no, that. No, that's why I said, bro, when, when, you, bro. when you say you quit your job, I was like, how the fuck? Because you was doing the shit. I thought you was already like... That just had... reminded me of the conversation. In my head, I knew that I had money in the 401k. I'm going to tell you how it is. It just reminded me of the conversation we just had about social media and kids. Yeah. The nigga said we... he quit his whole job off of... <laughs> you could be an influencer, bro. You could... It's some February. real shit you could do. 
Uh, for real, for real. Because I knew I had, and I'm going to be real, I knew I had 20 grand in the 401k from four years of working. And I said, 20 grand? I said, uh, yeah, yeah. I said, I quit my shit because that shit hit. 500 likes, that shit hit. And um, I just figured it out from there, bro. I was going after, dude, it was like a game of NBA 2K. You ever play NBA 2K? Oh, absolutely. Oh, you know, you get cheap sponsors to start with? Oh, yeah. That's how it was, bro. Yeah, I was going after literally anybody that, like, if I saw you were following me, I was, and I saw you owned the company, you were getting a message from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga harassed you. Built fence. Fence. <laughs> you, you built a fence? You built fences? I got you. I got you a promo for them fences, bro. <laughs> that, and that's how I started. That's how I got by until I started all being all day, which was 2020, May. Right. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. May 2020. Hold on, hold on. So talk about, so talk about the whole DeMayo, because that's really where it started. And, and I feel like you saw a lot more like uh, your your personality, your com, you know what I'm saying, your comedy background. So talk talk about that. Yeah, hold the mayo is I don't like mayo. Obviously, like I don't know if that's obvious. Or it's not. the handle. Don't, don't bro. you got a mayo sponsor? I do. I don't think they want to hear you saying you don't like mayo. Shout out Blue Play, baby. Love y'all. <laughs> Yo, for real. Love y'all. Blue Play. Love the new logo. Everything, bro. Like, y'all love y'all. But hold hey. them motherfucking mayo, though. They man. know I don't eat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a part of the initial the initial yeah, initial cream in the I contract. Not, not since the 90s. He said, I'm not going to eat it, but <laughs> I promote about it. Not since the 90s. Not since the 90s. I let me old crack or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I've been the, like I've been the MA. I've mayo been clean. anonymous. I've been clean, but it's exciting. <laughs> I done been to Mayo Anonymous meetings, man. Y'all, y'all, look, y'all gotta understand. I, I hate Mayo, bro. I don't like it on, and, and, it, and it developed into like I don't like sour cream. Mm. You know, all, anything, any impostas. Okay, I see what you're saying. So I don't like it. But anyway, that's been that way forever, right? And when I was thinking about getting into social media, which was legit in 2019, bro, I knew that. I'm not saying like I'm Bill Nye the science guy, but I just saw like where this shit was going. No, nah, yeah, you gotta be a a, a certain level Visionary, of delusional yeah, see, to see yeah. your shit before it happens. And I knew that I had to vote because I was selling cars for a long time. And I don't think that really has nothing to do with it. I think it's just like I was just like like this is who I am. Like I could talk a lot. Right. You know, so that's why I said, that's why I said when we was talking about what job would you do if you didn't, that's why I said you'll be <laughs> you'll be the car salesman in the commercials talking and yeah. doing all this shit, people bro. Bu- you, you got the bro, energy, bro. People buying a car, I don't know shit about cars. But you could talk them up. Couldn't tell up. you nothing about like people come there like trying to pop the hood on a Mustang. And talking about, like, yo, yo, this is the component. And I'm like, I don't know what component this is, bro. <laughs> but I know that I'm going to make you a deal. You're going to love me, motherfucker. Like, we're going to yeah. have a good time, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. that was how I sold cars. But, okay. you know, I just think that I was just, I don't know, meant to do this. Like, right. I was meant to talk on the camera and shit. So I didn't know that until I was 27 years old, though. Right. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it take a minute. It took sometimes. a long time, you know? Mm-hmm. So, and mm-hmm. this is just the beginning, man. So... I inspired to do a lot of shit, stand up comedy, right. everything. So I, I, I'm 30. Right. That's where, that's where I'm at. You know, I got to stretch every day. I feel that. <laughs> well, still a lot of time. Still a lot of time, bro. So, so, so what, what was the like the step for you getting into the to the beans? Yeah, it was just like I had already done a lot of shit. You know this. No, yeah, you was doing a, a bunch of different. I did Two Me Tuesday for a while. That's the the call so the, the who, call t- the call hotline. No, I did Tombstone. T- oh. uh, I was eating Tombstone pizzas on Tuesdays for a long time. Like, oh, okay. And when okay. I say a long time, I mean six what months. Tombstone pizzas. That's a. That's, I guess it's a pizza. Oh, place. you never ate a Tombstone? No, it's a place. No, Tombstone is just a frozen pizza. <laughs> this man out here eating hockey puck. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So just, dude, look. Okay, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna eat- tell you right now. I go, look, that bit I go look back on any of my... Con- Let me talk about this. I go look back on any of my content from 2019 and 2020. I'm like, son, I can't look at it. You know, it's, <laughs> it, it's that bad. Bruh, yeah. But then I go look at anybody's shit from 20... From when they... It's, the first, it's, it's terrible. It's, it's all bad. It's and all I, bad. it took me to, like, grow to see that, you know? But I can't look at any of my content from 2019 to 2020. But I can say that I was working at a craft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever it was, you I don't figuring it out. You figuring it out. I don't know where I was at. Tell, it. Talk to the people about eating the frozen pizza. Just ah, I, I mean, what was the, what you was want the me to talk process? to y'all? I'll talk to y'all. What, I'm just saying, what was the thought process? Never had having? a bad experience with a frozen pizza, dude. Like <laughs> honestly, How underrated. Not? That's how I did a chip their teeth. Yeah, I mean, but never had a detrimental experience with a frozen pizza. Like any one of them, too. Like name one, bro. Like. Name one. Did you thaw of it? Thaw oh, it out no, a little they, bit? I, I'm sure he cooked that bitch. 
Oh no, no, you know I'm cooking them. <laughs> you see, you said no. I'm not on the. When well, you said you were eating frozen, be like you was eating that bitch frozen on. Oh Tuesday. no, wait, hold on. What they call them? What they call them anywhere else? <laughs> no, nah, that bitch just a piece of it. I get what you're saying though. <laughs> so you call you call it you call it DiGiorno a pizza? Yeah, that bitch just a pizza. But when you, it, you it's a it, okay. I get I get what you're saying. I get I get I get. I no no no. I'm no, gonna but, tell you. But I'm when you, you just said, "Hey, yeah, I was eating frozen pizza on Tuesday," he, he literally thought he thought you was. Literally. Oh no, I'm not on no no. And then I asked you like you was eating a frozen pizza, like you nah. eating a hockey puck, and you were like, "Yeah, I, I was, yeah, no, that no, was I'm not, I saw, wild boy. I saw a dude eat a raw steak on TikTok last night, and I told myself I said I would never. Yeah okay. You know I'm like shit, boy. Yeah, 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 you that. know like fuck that. That ain't happening. Yeah, okay, you know everything okay. I ate is is recommendable. <laughs> it's edible. Besides the tombstones, which that's give or take whatever you like in the frozen section. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. all that is. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. like, hey man, some people like Jack's, some people like DiGiorno. I like a pizza that's under five dollars in the frozen section. <laughs> I, feel that. I, I don't feel like that. paying $7.99 for a frozen pizza because I could go to Domino's and get the two for $7.99. Bags, bags. That's yeah, so 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 talk about the uh, what was what was the first uh, the first beans episode that you first did? beans was like right across the street from my house, and it was at a place called Lakeview Brew, and I was going there already to get a lot of coffee and shit, and and, and you got to realize, bro, this is like unknowingly, bro, this is this is me just living my life. Yeah, and I went to the coffee shop, I knew the lady over there, Anita, shout out Anita, it's crazy, bro, but uh, yeah, and. I went there for lunch that day, and I got red beans. At that point, bro, it was 2020. Yeah. And I was, like, filming anything I did. Bro, I was not... I did not have a job. Right. You was just like, fuck. So I was... set my camera up and fucking... It was anything, bro, man. I was... Look, man, you come in my house, I got five wigs laying around. <laughs> no, you do got... I will, I, will, I will turn into something real quick. <laughs> you do got characters in there. I'm serious, bro. That's no problem for me, dude. And, like... So I was just trying a lot, and that's what you do when you first start anything. Thanks. I don't care what it is. That's what you all. If you, even if you're just doing a regular job, you first you just trying some shit. And um, yeah, dude, I just filmed a video and I said, you know what, man? Like after that first one, I was like, dude, I don't know what clicked. I don't. It's not like anything special, or anything like that. It's just like right. I said, I told myself, I, said, I bet you if I do this a hundred times, I bet you it hit. No, nah, yeah, I mean, you, and you, I kept telling everybody I talked to that. And I got a lot of people I talked to then that were my, my good friends, and they still are to this day, that thought I was not crazy, but they were like, dude, what? Yeah, right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, right. but yeah, ain't nobody going to see your Yo, vision. Yo, if I eat red beans 100 Mondays in a row, like, it'll hit? Like, okay. <laughs> Motherfuckers ain't going to see your vision till it's already... Exactly. They didn't realize that there was some other shit behind that, but there's a lot of improv, comedy. There was a lot of, like, just... Dude, I didn't realize that New Orleans hadn't been as exposed. I never knew that. Yeah, no, that's crazy because like, I mean, we come from. I mean, I was in the I was in the late nineties listening to Cash Money, but it's crazy to think that social media deleted everything, and I'm not saying it really did, right? But it deleted everything from when it started. As far as like people have never seen New Orleans food before, and that's crazy. No, nah, I would say that that's like, that's actually I would say I would agree with that. Like, uh, like seeing it, like the stores and shit. Like, oh, like, like yeah, where it's like, coming from. They know, they know the what, spots. they know no, no, what they people, know we got good food. Yeah, that was what I was say. They know what people eat okay. in New Orleans, but, but they don't know the, f- the places. places. Okay. They don't in understand that it's like yeah. the same place that you're reading in the news that you might have seen some crime going on. Right. Got the best hot plates in the city, bro. And it's yeah. just really yeah. like that, bro. Right. Like for you, just might, you just might get your ass shot, though. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like they good. But though. nobody's ever done that on social media. And social media yeah. started a new wave of, like, nothing being exposed down here. And this is, like, dude, people who don't live here legit look at this place. And I and I, I stand by this. I think they look at it like it's like an Amsterdam. Like, it's like it's like a place nothing like any other state no, yeah, in the yeah, country. Yeah. I'm about to say, I, I so tell- anytime they see something from it, they're like, okay, what's going on here? Yeah. yeah I'm about I think say, New Orleans I, has that entry. I tell, I tell most people that I meet that have never been here. I'm like, dude, that's a whole, that's a whole different world out there, for real. For that. popped a, out of new, but what is it? Own little country, yeah, like, by yeah, itself. Just, for real, right, for real. there's a whole different world. Just like uh, we were saying that uh, nothing is pronounced the way it's spelled out here. Nothing. That shit is crazy as fuck. You know, we don't even to understand what mean street that. name. Right. You trying to tell somebody? They talking about, about say, oh, you talking about? 
Is that's what they say? Right. <laughs> and you, you, you from here and still got the same problem. Can't pronounce <laughs> shit in this bitch. I don't understand it. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> no, but we don't mean it. Right. But we don't understand it. That's dumb as hell. <laughs> and that's not trying to say, hey, like, we dumb and nothing like that. It's just like... It's French. I don't know what it <laughs> nah, is. It's, it's broke. It's broke as hell. That's what it is. Yeah, real, I don't real. know what it, it is. It's like French and English. Like if you brought up an example shit. right now, I'd be like, I swear by the other way of what it is. Oh, uh, yeah. I, okay, so the... Uh, <laughs> like... The... Uh, th- what was it? The three-year anniversary? The yeah. Trinas? Yeah, I, I can't say that word. <laughs> Trinas. I don't know. Yeah. It looked it look weird. But everybody from... So Cajuns, was, and I learned this from the comments. Uh-huh. And I'm not a Cajun. Let it be known. I, you know, people think of Louisiana, they think of Cajuns. And right. certain people in Louisiana are Cajuns. I'm not, not a Cajun. Yeah, not everybody. You know, I'm from here. the city, St. Bernard Parish. You know, we fish. Right. That's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like, we don't, we not uh, skinning alligators or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. People, people come to here, let me go on a swamp tour. I'm like, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it's not that I'm much like, swamp. All right, go day. ahead, bro. Have a good time, bro. <laughs> like, because... <laughs> you ain't gonna find me on one. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> yeah. So, so what's your what's your favorite thing about about New Orleans? The people, man, hands down. Everybody's funny down here. Everybody deserves to be on TV. That's the best way I could describe it right away. Oh, hell Every, no, yeah. We, we, we agree. Everybody we seen in this motherfucker. Shout, that's from the heart. Shout bro. out that boy David, goddamn. Yeah, David. There's true. a lot of people I'm down here, today. and it kills me, but it really makes me want to cry, dude. Like, there's a lot of people down here that like really should be. On TV, dude, and and they, they're not known because they're in New Orleans, bro. And it's it's crazy, right? But that's what it is. Yeah. And but but yet people will like, and I'm not trying to get into this, but like people will like legit like fascinate over this place during certain times of the year, yep. mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, certain yeah. games, certain this Super Bowls here, Mardi Gras. Uh, this motherfucker is from here, whatever. Wayne's from here, right? But it's just like. Dude, there's so many funny people here, bro. It's legit crazy, bro. Like, I know some dudes that will literally make you not even be able to breathe, bro. No, absolutely. Straight up, like, bro. Somebody, somebody. Like, and, and they're not even, they not even famous, bro. No, nah, yeah. So that's that's my thing. Uh, I think anybody I run into down here is funny. So that's the first thing I'd say. Uh, yeah. That's my favorite thing. The second favorite thing is probably uh, food, yeah. the sports, Louisiana in general. You know this. I about to say, I know you love the, the Saints. It's just everything, everything about Louisiana sports, man. I don't care if you're from Shreveport, bro. If you're from Louisiana, bro, I can't. I'm so happy you made it. Like, because that's how we feel down here. So, and I was just looking at the, the people that were from Shreveport, bro, that, like, made it. And uh, there was so many people, bro. Right, right, right. Johnny Cochran's Damn, from Shreveport. Yeah. Johnny Cochran. How about Damn. that? Damn. Damn. Unbelievable. Rest in peace. And then, like, it just goes on and on and on. You right. know, like, uh, Terry Bradshaw. Mm. Is from Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, Jacob has to, you know, I mean, dude, there's a ton of LSU. Name off a list of LSU players. That yeah, I Shreve- remember Jacob has to. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's um, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a long list. It's a long list that just from Shreveport, and that's North Louisiana. A lot of people in Louisiana don't even consider that Louisiana. They call it Texas. So I mean, I'm about to say your, your man Jay Saints for real thought that bitch was eight hours away. That was crazy sequence. <laughs> he thought it was eight hours I had me away. sold on that shit, bro. I was really never going to go to Shreveport ever. <laughs> he said, yeah, bro, I'm going to Shreveport. Jason said, bro, you know it's like eight hours away. He's like, oh, fuck, I ain't going I ain't to that going shit. To I ain't going to that shit no I said, more. there's no way in Louisiana eight hours away from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, speaking of New Orleans and y'all being funny, bro, we had a tour today. Yeah, facts. Now, let me tell y'all, listen. All right. Yeah, I got a, I got a few of the pictures in there. That's what I said. I'm so I glad y'all this, documented it. That's the when horse. I told this man, Joe, I said, hey, let us do one of them tours. I was looking at one of them buses come by. Oh, yeah, AC, sit down. Nope, nope. Hey, yeah. he said tour. I was the first thing I said. We said, walk outside. This nigga walk up on the carriage. I'm like, <laughs> all right, all right. We go. Well, let's go with the brother in the purple suit. Fact. Okay. This whole carriage purple. Oh, see, I got to pick a carriage. I didn't tell him that. Yeah, yeah, we no, picked, yeah, we, we I was, picked I was, I was like, which one you want to go? I was like, yeah, let's get the, How the many live, bro. Were, it was probably like three, four or five. It was three. Okay. It was three of them. It was three of them. Nah, it was, it was, I was like, like four. four five, this yeah. was like a need for speed menu. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you had, had a line. You had options. Yeah. So we go with our boy in the purple suit, David. Shout out to you. See him right there. Uh, David was immediately funny. He, you know, he popped out. He was like, I'll arm wrestle you. I'll arm wrestle you for your fee. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, right Dave is 68 years old. Right. You know, 115 this, this pounds. Big. You know, his Said skin was wrestling. hanging off like his suit jacket. You, you say where he was from? New Orleans, right yeah, down the street, apparently. Born, born and raised. His family been here okay, for since 1845. Yeah. Oh, he, he said, talked about his whole family back yeah, to 1845. Back to 1845. Talked about his granddaddy. Talked about aunties, his uncles, uh, his his kids that he do he had with his wife. His Y'all got kids, what a good uh, one. We yeah. got we got the whole menu. Yeah, we appreciate David. But you. this man was killing us, bro. I'm talking about <laughs> dropping jokes left and right. No facts. Naturally. Facts. And like the end of the night before we go on bourbon. We go in some little spot. We just walk in. Dude, notice us. Shout out to you, bro. The security guard. Security guard. The security guard. Say what's up to Wait, wait. wait. Just, hold on. Yeah, they, they, this this is the good story, right? They say what's up to him. We what's up, bro? We walk in. And he's like, hey, this is how I do this nigga fight. He's like, hey, y'all going to We walk in. He's talking about, yeah, y'all going to get them hoes now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right away. We saw, it's on everybody's but mind. But then. Look the security guard. But then we walk in. We turn around, bro. This he man walk is in the club behind In there, hoes. Like, he with us. And he is right. getting. Yeah. Turn Oh, right. All on business. Nobody works shit. down here. Bro, they had to go tap, bro, and tell him, come on, bro, come back. He was not watching bruh, the door. He no. didn't give a fuck. No, bro. He was fucked that. He was on the bitch. Dude. That man asked Jalen, and we walk up to the door, yeah. I said, hey, you got any guns on you? Jalen said, didn't no. Have, he didn't have right. my idea. Nothing, <laughs> bro. He no. said, you got a gun? Yeah. All right. Imagine That's what it. it's like going to the airport down here. <laughs> Hey, that shit that's why was, I don't fly no more. That shit was crazy as New fuck. New Orleans let anybody on with anything. Bro, I don't that fly shit from was here funny no more, dude. Hell, he really just walked away from the door, dancing the fucking Ice Spice and shit, bro. Yes, bro. Ice he Spice. He was hype and, as fuck, yeah. He was lit. Oh, you think he had hey, y'all remember what ball y'all had? No. I don't Was know it the beach? No. no. Okay, Bourbon Heat. Nah. No. All right, that's, yo, yo, that's yo, all we, I got. We, we know no names. That's all I know, though. No names. But you would have remembered those two. Okay. But that's it. Okay. That's all no, I got. No. I'm definitely not, guess no definitely not those two. I think right. I know where you're going with that. Now, right. You do some shit on your on your show that I would never do on the wrong room. I would never let any of you motherfuckers call in and not answer the phone that you get put on here. Not happening. But oh, you yeah. have a hotline mo- Love uh, that. segment. What would be your favorite hotline moment that you done had? I didn't heard a dude that come on there freestyling. No, I didn't see you hanging up on motherfuckers and shit. It's just, Yeah, it's the same. It's the football season. And that's why I'm... Ready for it again, cause I'm coming right back. I don't care. Like I don't need to brand a show to know that. Like, yo, I'm coming back for them them phone calls after after them Saints games. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, yeah, I, don't, be, I don't need to brand that year round. I'll those, be that. Those yeah. be the ones. And and, and 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 I'm telling you, bro, that's the that's the best ones, bro. Because these dudes are all drunk, bro. Nobody <laughs> nobody goes to the Saints game and don't get drunk, bro. It's crazy. I like to go and not get drunk. Watch the game for real. For I real. do. I really do. I swear by that. Shit happens, you know. <laughs> <laughs> shit oh, shit. happens. You can't control it. You know how it is. You see a hundred people, you know, bro. Like, right. what you gonna do, bro? bro? A lady at this at, the, at this restaurant was checking me today. She oh, told God, me I was she drinking said, my drink too right, slow. Right. Damn. Yeah. She, she told said, me, oh, she baby, said, you can't drink. Oh, you must not be from here. Everything's on clock. Where you yeah. from? Yeah. Everything's <laughs> on clock. She said, where you from? First of all, I got oysters. <laughs> yeah. got crab yeah, claws. I got real real red quick. beans and rice right here. First. I'm hungry. Facts. I ain't even trying to thought about that damn drink. Nah, she said. Yeah, no. But that's my favorite is the... Post game because, so, bro, again, the Carrick's is down here, bro. It's crazy, dude. Like, yeah. I've had dudes call me from the bar, blackout, you know, just like have no business inputting on literally anything in life. Damn. Nothing. Damn. Right? But will call me about the Saints game. And it's just like, you know, dude, that's, and that's why there's local legends down here and like Bobby A. Bear. Oh, yeah. He played quarterback yeah, t- for the Saints. Yeah, yeah. And then went on to be a, uh, uh, radio guy, and he mm-hmm. takes calls from what? The public. All right. And dude, it's just like a fucking every time it's, it's a, a it's shit a, show. It's a roller coaster, bro, because you're oh, like, thanks. you can't control these people down here, dude. And you can't control Bobby A. Bay. He's from down here. He's from Cutoff, mm-hmm. Louisiana. He'll snap the home of the most babies. The motherfucker, you meet a girl, <laughs> you meet a girl in Cutoff, Louisiana. She's going to have three babies off top, bro. I don't care if you're 19. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. That's what we, I, I don't care if you're 19. No, I knew a chick in middle school, bro. I swear to God, bro. And it wasn't even cut off. This was in St. Bernard Parish. And she was my crush. Hands to God, bro. Wanted to marry a 13. What you want to do in your life? Nobody knows, but I want to marry, <laughs> I want to marry this girl, right? And she fucking, dude, next thing you know, she's pregnant, bro. In the same... Damn. 
And the way class was, you just be sitting in class, bro, and you'd be able to look at a chick. I don't know if y'all remember. <laughs> you said look you'd at a chick. You'd be able to look at a chick. But you never, you're next thing you know, I was looking at her every day, pregnant. My crush, bro, 13 years old. Bro. That's fucking wild. That's how wild. they get it down here, bro. I'm telling hey, you, bro. That's <laughs> fucking wild. 13, bro, just swinging, bro. Hey, look, we don't want to get flagged for child pornography over here. <laughs> no, that was, she turned out to be a good hey, mom. They, they, they I let YouTube know. She turned out to be a good mom. Oh, hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, the teenage, 13 and pregnant. Man, you don't need none of that. that Since you're a big New sure. Orleans fan, you you're a Saints fan, obviously. Mm-hmm. You're a Pelican fan. Love the Pals. Right. To, to my to my detriment. I'm about to say he got he got a no. this shit is painful, bro. All right, man. You got it. Yeah, go ahead. So being a Pelicans fan, y'all finally get somebody around here that's supposed to change mm-hmm. the game. The next LeBron James, the next Michael Jordan, the next best thing. And you can't seem to stay on the court. How is that, is that frustrating? I'm, obviously, it's got to be frustrating for a Pelican fan on the yes. Orleans State period that the first overall pick, whatever year, 2019, 2020, he ain't, he ain't out there. Dude, fuck And the you get pick. to watch him, watch other guys yeah. in, that, in that same draft ball. Okay. All right. I'll get to that point late after this. Because okay. I, I do want to comment on Jean Morant. But because, but anyway, Zion, it, I, don't need, I don't care what pick he was. Zion is a generational talent. I know one when I see one because I don't know why. I just do. You know, I just feel like I do. Like, I know when a dude is better than, like, 90% of the dudes on the court because, you know, I watch sports my whole life. I'm not saying I fucking balled in college and all that. I just watch sports enough to know that dude's a generational talent, right? And every time he stepped on the court, it's been, dude, it's been lights out. Dude, it's been... Some crazy shit happening. For dude, him. it's been, like, like... Like, okay, yeah, it's, the, the Pelicans had a really sad year. I hate to even think about it. I told myself, I even tweeted on Twitter, I'd never talk about the season ever again because it was such a sad season. But <laughs> the Zion Dickey fit game, when he rolled up in a Dickey fit, which resembled with everything that is this this city. Yeah, I'm about to say, It's yeah. just everything. It resembled with everything. When he rolled up in a tan beige Dickey fit to the game and went for 40 something. It was oh, like, went 40 in that? Oh, yeah, y'all got Oh, it yeah, was... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I you dunked yeah. on... I think... There yeah, it is. The Raider, look. Hey, what game? Who did they play in that game? Timberwolves? Not, yeah. yeah. It was the Timberwolves, Timberwolves? my guy. Yeah, 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 because D'Andre Russell went on the press conference. At, D'Andre Russell was still playing for the Timberwolves. He went on a press conference after, and he was so sad, bro. Like, mm-hmm. like he was just like, yo, we can't do anything if, like... uh yeah, he's like, he's playing football, man. I was like, <laughs> I, know, I, do I was like, bro, this is the, the saddest interview. press conference I've ever seen in my life, dude. Zion but is. But the thing is, what's all that talent if you never on the court? I know, but, but so, I'm here I mean, to tell we, you. We can talk about how I get it. He great it is, but if it you kills got, us. The, what, 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 what they tell you, the best ability is availability. Facts. And if it you ain't us. available, then that shit don't really matter. Okay, I'm hanging on to a thread. And I'm hanging on to the okay, Joel. That, that. I'm hanging on to the Joel and B thread is what I'm hanging on to. Ooh. Because why did Joel and B throw it? Because me? at first he wasn't playing years. You're right. So right. it's like I'm just hanging on. No, nah, yeah, because I I, I do what remember this is, your fo- this is gonna be your focus. I am right. Because I don't want to, dude. I don't look, bro. We we live in it right now, and, and I hate to injury. say this. I hate it because I don't like this guy, bro. It's the only guy I really don't like in the NBA. Anthony that Davis. That boy done missed 188 of 302 games. Who's that? Zion. Zion. I don't want to hear it. He, he is a diehard. When God I told you, you're damn. a diehard New Orleans. It's in my right? shit, dude. Say, I'll wait for Zion because, you know, he's just, it's just a different, like, we don't, we we still in it right now if Zion's there. That's how good that dude is. No, I agree. I'm I not saying. I agree. Well, we're not saying that. We just in that you got to be on the court. Back. I know. So you gotta be out there. But you know that conversation always popped up with the Ja Moran Zion thing, and I'm here to say it, bro. Oh, no, like, that conversation over with. That conversation <laughs> ended a long time ago. What you mean? Like that conversation over with after Brookie year. Right, and that conversation on the couch because both of them are on the couch right now. No, yeah, see what well, I'm saying. Yeah, so I think no, it's a clean slate. No, 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 no. I think it's a clean slate. I got to pee. I got to pee right now. He's but I think it's even. It's even. Nah, it's, it's, even. Even. Nah, it's, it's even. not <laughs> even. It is not even because at least twelve ended up on the court at the end of his season. Zion was headed. <laughs> I still on the couch. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, he did. Love him. He, 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 ended season, he ended the season on the court. He did. No, he did. He did. So that's my point to you is being, once again, He ended available. the season on the court, but that court was, 
It, it might have melt. It might have been a couch because it was a between a court and a couch. No, because y'all was just already at home. You didn't get a, a chance to peek at the, the end of the season. Like, it was a wrap before that shit got there. So my point. So to I you just want to wait one more year for Zion. Is all I'm saying. I mean, <laughs> yeah, and then maybe he'll stop selling cars. Like you stop selling cars <laughs> after four or five years. Maybe he'll do something else after this. In yeah, four or five yeah. years, you know, it took fucking forever. I want to see that, man. Because you can't I deny when that dude is on the court, he is top now, three in the league. Not denying it, but I'm not, you're not going to say he on the same slate as John Morant. That's not happening. I, don't, I mean, John Morant's well, top 10 in the league. And, 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 and top most 10 players everybody, in the league. Most everybody only like don't him. like John because he just, he be reckless outside. No, I like that. No, I, that's not what I don't like about him. I like Ja, honestly, because he is kind of spontaneous. But... I'm gonna just call it how it is. He ain't won nothing yet, so I think the Zion slate's still there. <laughs> okay, all right. No. That's all. He got all right. rookie of the year. All right, he got cool. rookie of the year. All right, that's cool. All right. star. Hey, bro, you know who else got rookie of the year? Brandon Roy. What's he doing today? Damn, you, that's so fucking. You can't put no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. And Brandon, hey, Brandon, Brandon Roy was bro, like that. You, you yeah, like, don't hey, do that. Brandon one of my Roy was like that. Ever on 2K. Yeah, that boy was like that. Don't do Brandon Roy like that. That might be true. On Hell 2K. Nah. Couldn't find him on the court with a search yeah. warrant, but yeah, no, on 2K, right yeah, he was good. Nah, he was <laughs> like that. That might was like that. <laughs> oh, 2K, shit, real nah. life. Nah, that might was like that. Oh, Lord. Okay, no, no, no. So I, this, I've been waiting for this one. I've been waiting for this one. So diehard New Orleans fan. So and you, you love all the Louisiana sports. What? I would say New, New Orleans, but I guess I'll go Louisiana. What Louisiana sports moment would you trade to have the pass interference call called? <laughs> no. it's, a D, it's a DB question. No, no, no. no, but I'm no, saying no. That, you know what I'm talking about? You know yeah, what? no, I, absolutely. Okay, yeah, obviously. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, I was there. Which one you, which, which sports moment would you trade to have the, that call called? Here, all right, I'm going to start by saying, us winning the Super Bowl in 2010 was everything. Because I talked I talk to somebody last like last few days about this. That was the best night still to this day, top 30 of our lives. And I was 17 then. I said, I already know. New so, Orleans period. Crazy. There's been no days in 13 years. Right. That's crazy to say. There's been no so days. You're not in, going, so, you're not trading the Super Bowl. So, I'm not trading okay. the Super Bowl. That's, not, on, that's yeah, on everything. Can't so, trade. now, what's the next moment in New Orleans? Sports history, though. That's, now, that was my question when you had that question for That's What the fuck else? I mean, the, what, the New Orleans Jazz so, in the good? Damn. Ain't a lot. So, like, <laughs> damn, so like I'm, I'm, I'm willing to give up pretty much anything at this point. Uh, <laughs> I thought y'all had some they, moments, they man. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. yeah, I mean, all right. Um, we ain't won shit. This makes me think about how much shit we ain't won. Right? And that's what, that's what broke. When you had that, that's what brought it in my mind. I was like, hold on. That's what, what this does. What the fuck have they me. won? Because you want right, to know what? All right. You want to know something? You know what? I ain't never, I ain't never lost here. All right. <laughs> mm, yeah. I, I'll give up something. All right. That's on multiple teams. I'd give up our basketball LSU Final Four appearance in 2006. Because they do hold on to that. And that's a, and that they was see, and that hurts me. That. that hurts because me. Because that's the best that's and the that's best basketball performance LSU. No, nah, don't they don't forget no. the women. Don't forget about No, 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 no. We talking and about I'm not willing we, to we, talk, that we talking up. about men's. We talking about men's. You're just saying men. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not willing to give this past the one up. No, we're not nah. we're not giving that. That's up. the first one. That was strong as garlic. Yeah. Yeah. That was strong as garlic. That was okay. I had to go I I had to go to the PMAC to go see that in my when they came back, I was like, you know, I gotta be there to see them. Right. For what? I don't know, because I felt that way. Yeah. 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 I feel that. I feel that. So you'll give up that. No, that's 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 probably like you know, a, I'm giving up big baby. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That was big he went straight time. to the Celtics yeah. and, and made a difference. Remember, he was shrekking, uh, it was shrekking um Damn, what was his night? That might cold too. I have Tyrus Thomas. Oh, Tyrus Thomas. Tyrus, Tyrus Thomas. Yeah. That's Boosie's, with the Bulls. That's Boosie's yeah. boy. Right. Yeah, that might was nice. Tyrus yeah. Thomas was his NBA career didn't portray to what Dude, his college career, bro, he was sending nah, everybody's shit nah, he, back. Yeah, he it don't nice matter who you are. Yeah, bro, was nice. J.J. Redick was crying after this game. <laughs> I know they got a lot of J.J. Redick talk in the media right hey, now. He JJ never about talks about how he was crying coach. tears after LSU put that ass down. Damn. And All nobody right. wanted LSU to win that game. I remember exactly where I was. That was right after the hurricane. Sheesh. Giving up you boys in 2006. Get that shit up. That's it. That's it. I mean, but that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a good one to give up, though. It's not. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> what? To anybody, because everybody should be like, yo, dude, why you giving that up? But like, But yeah. ain't nothing else for y'all to give up. No, I ain't. <laughs> gotta have something to give ain't up. Ain't giving up no LSU football championship. No, yeah, but I'm saying like, to give that up. you know to, LSU to, about it. To get to man. go to that next, that next, that next playoff game. Yeah. I get that shit up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I want the Pals. That's yeah. y'all would have been in the little the division. What that was the, y'all would have been in the division championship. I mean, dude, think about think about the Pals, man. Like when they started, bro, they were first this year. They were first in the in the West. I mean, I know it don't mean nothing, but it's just like that was a testament to and I ain't trying to get like sports centered, but but that was a testament to what this team could do. Like that team was good, bro. It was I on yeah. really yeah. good, hard to beat, very hard to beat. No, nah, and I, I did a little, little New Orleans uh, sports history. I had three franchises in two different sports that were in the city of New Orleans and left. One of them ended up going to Memphis for a long time. We're going to start with the New Orleans Buccaneers. It was an ABA basketball team. That team played here for like two seasons. They ended up going to Memphis, becoming the Memphis Pros, the Memphis Tims or some shit like that. Obviously, all that shit was in the 70s. I yeah, wasn't around. I mean, that's where I'm at on it. But hold on. <laughs> then in a couple years later, I'm going to say around the 70s as well, Birmingham Bulls. They came down here for a brief stint. That was a hockey team. Okay. Um, came you know down here at? for a brief stint. Uh, did their thing. And then y'all got the New Orleans Jazz of the NBA. Right. Okay, Pistol Pete. You know what I'm saying? It made sense that the Jazz was in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Doesn't make sense to Utah, right. but hey, Grizzlies are in Memphis. Right. We ain't got no damn Bears. Who, True. You know? Vancouver. So, right now, we got this thing, pay, tag, cut. You pay one, you tag one, you cut one. If you, all these three franchises, if you had to bring one back, you can pay one, you can tag one, you cut one. What's the middle one? Tag. Like franchise tag. Oh, I got you. Okay? Now, this pay, tag, cut is brought to you by yours truly, Perfect Plan. Now, Perfect Plan right here, as you see it, is Tiger's Blood. is Nashville Premier Dispensary. You know what I'm okay. saying? They got some of the best TACA uh, flowers. They got uh, tinctures. They got the edibles. flowers. They got edibles. They got mm-hmm. pre-rolls. You know what I'm saying? They come in all the packs. The Gary Payton's, the Lemonade, the Purple Punch. Pineapple Salado, Express, you feel the, me? You hear me? The Pineapple Express is just the Perfect Plan. You got two locations, you know what I'm saying? One in Germantown. With the big ass sign, that's the one I love. It comes through, and they got that big ass digital sign. You come off, you'll see like it changing colors, doing all the pretty shit. But you can see that as soon as you come down Germantown, you got the one on White Bridge. You got the one right next to you. You want to know why? Because you just got to pop up in there. And when you go in there, you tell them that the raw room sent you, and you get you fifteen percent off. Indeed. Feel me? You get you fifteen percent off when you go to plant perfectplantmarket dot com. Go to perfectplantmarket.com, use the code raw room, get you fifteen percent off, and you make sure you tell them that it, was, it came from the raw room. You know what I'm saying? It's all federally legal. And if you if you don't got one by this, let's say you you in New Orleans Thank and you, you want some perfect plant, this is what you do. You get on there, you just put where you live at, put your address, all that, and they're gonna send it right they gonna to send your that. front we door. Gonna, yeah. Right to your front door. Make Ship sure you it. use the code raw room so you get mm-hmm. 15% off. Now tell us right now which one you pay, pay in, you tag in, and you cut. All right. So first of all, that was a promo, so you gotta give me the option. <laughs> yeah. So hold He's, on. Hold on. That's why I hold said on, it on, early on, so that you can think about hold it. Hold on, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, nah. Let me start with that. We got the New Orleans Buccaneers. All right. Okay. You got the, the now, Jazz. Why? The Jazz. New Orleans Jazz. Which I'm gonna tell you right the now. Birmingham Buffaloes. Bulls, I mean Birmingham Bulls, which I don't know why. They think so you had two team. basketball teams and a hockey team. ABA was the. All right, Bucks. so I'm just gonna tell you what it is. Talk to the, the 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 Jazz. I always wanted that back. We now exactly. we now tripping. We not losing sleep on it no more. Right. At one time we were. We thought that was kind of weird that yeah. the Jazz went in Utah. Yeah, they tried. I mean, to we take... saw enough Mormon documentaries in this motherfucker. I mean Netflix 2023. How many? Utah documentaries you seen. You know, they're not jazzing out there. <laughs> Tell you that. Okay. Yeah, well, they were here from 75 to 79. Yeah. So I would love the jazz back. So I'd, I'd pay. Mm. Pay the jazz. Okay. I'd pay for the, for jazz. the jazz. All right. Yeah, and yeah. the Birmingham Bulls was here from 77 to 79. I don't know who. So the, so the streets are popping team. right now. That's the hockey team. The bring streets the are popping. Back. Bring, bring the brass back. The brass. What's the brass? That must have been what they transformed to. 
This because was in the brass 77 was the only to 79. I don't know what was going on other than John Travolta and Grease and shit in the 70s because I, I don't remember that. I mean, I wouldn't expect you to remember. I'm but yeah. I also know that you know your Memphis history. I mean, your, your New Orleans history. It don't matter. He said, yeah, that's what I say. Hockey in New Orleans hey, is crazy. Memphis, Memphis got hockey? We had the River Kings. I know, but, but the Predators... All I can tell you is... The Predators I, is fire. That ain't Memphis, That's though. Tennessee. It's still but, Tennessee, though. They just they were good for like three years. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't care about hockey down here at all. You can't. Well, tell yeah, them about I'm not expecting them. To get. You can't even tell them about it. Yeah. They get offended. People don't. <laughs> you know, they get offended. They get aggressive. <laughs> okay. I so- tried to do. I did. Dude, when I came into this, I swear to God, I'm gonna look at the camera for this. When I came in this in 2019, I started a hockey podcast with a dude thinking, "Hey, man, we're gonna hit a niche. Hockey. Okay. We're gonna hit thinking a niche that nobody get your got." Gym, man. <laughs> Hockey in right? New Orleans. People on my shit saying, man, get that shit the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't hearing none of that hockey. Hey, Bring the brass man. back. Talking about like some, some like, I mean, it was a it was a professional team, but they weren't winning no games. I'm bro. fucking like, dead. Nobody in New Orleans can play hockey. That's a that's a rule. God made that rule. So, nobody made that rule. God made it. So I'm guessing you cutting the bulls. <laughs> yes. Okay, all right. All right, so you're going you to tag the yes. books. Okay. That's fucking crazy. Hockey's so. done down here, man. That's just extinct, like a dinosaur. Like a dinosaur. It ain't yeah, hockey in the South, anyway, it's, 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 it's wild. It's real in the stupid. deep South, ain't happening. It's real stupid. It's real but stupid. speaking of one more team y'all do have here, in the USFL, you got the New Orleans Breakers. Love them. Love Breakers. Them. Now, that's, okay, how do you love a team that you don't get to see? Correct, and that's what I'm advocating for, for real. I'm glad you asked this question. Yeah, I was about to say, I went to the, um, when I went to the the Showboats game, I found out that they do, like, you know, a hub city and a few teams play in this one city. So I'm like, damn, the New Orleans it's, and Houston, yeah. they play in, yeah. in Memphis. And a lot of people from New, a lot of people from New Orleans play for the Breakers. Shout out, and shout out to these dudes, bro, because, like, they fuck with me, bro. They follow me and shit. Like, right. And I said it, man. I'm not saying, hey, I'm out here, like, fucking advocating for it like it's my job, but I'm like, yo, build a stadium. Or right. yo, let them play at Tulane. Right. Yo, you know, like... Let us back our fucking Because I'm there. Yeah. Bro, you 4-0 right now, bro. This is a real subject right now. This no, I'm about crazy. to say, they are 4-0. Shout out to, um, shout out to the Breakers. They got my dog, uh, McLeod Bethel Thompson. He, uh, yo. he was quarterback at uh, Toronto out there, but he, he won a championship last year and he out here. Doing his thing. They called... I seen he had a shirt. Uh, People who know football know Bethel Thompson. Aaron McLeod. Like, yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah, no, nah, yeah. Dude, I'm about it. Like, right, right. That's what I'm saying, like... And this is what we're not seeing. Like, I just had a DM come through right before I got on here talking about the rugby team, the NOLA rugby. Oh, you shit. You know, like, they're trying to get me over there and shit like what that. What a it's name. Just... McLeod Bethel Thompson. McLeod Bethel Thompson. Bethel Thompson. Bethel Thompson. Yeah, where, where he went to school at? Yeah, well, um, he's 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 though. from America. I'm not sure what. Dude, I heard of Bethel Thompson, man. But uh, yeah, he's he's a he's a gritty older cat. You know what I'm saying? One of them, uh, you know, just really? tough nosed quarterbacks, bro. He'll fucking run it, take a hit if he got to, bro. You see him trying to jump over UCLA people and shit. Sacramento State. Oh, he an old head. Yeah, that's what I say. He 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 an old head, but oh, he, he but he tough as shit. Around. But dude, you remember when the XFL was popping back in the day, bro? Like it was dudes like Tommy Maddox and shit. Yeah. Like it was just like there's a way for that shit to be. And look, I'm not sitting here saying, yo, USFL is about to take over and nothing like that. I'm just saying, like, bro, if that team was in New Orleans, bro, I'd be there. Yeah. No, it, it, would, it would definitely be. I bet y'all would because y'all love football. That I say, it, it would definitely be different be for the cities that are, like, really, really big into sports. Like, Houston, their fan base was crazy when they were there, uh, when the XFL was, you know, first we got out some, here. Yeah. Like, I already know that, you know, having your own fan base it's definitely a, a game And, like, we, you know, like, we'd be, like, if it was at Tulane Stadium or something like that. Yeah. Bro, people would show up. No, yeah. They'd yeah, be no packed doubt. out. Yeah, no, facts. Yeah. Motherfuckers no ain't doubt. got shit to do out here. Because people no. still, like, even in Memphis, like. Yeah, motherfuckers was they, at the game in Memphis. pull up to the, yeah. They it, was, out there. it was out there, for real. Seattle, for real. well, that's the XFL, but you know, it'd, be, it'd still be people that are showing love to these other leagues. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. And getting out there and supporting them because it's a city team, so. And that's the same, like, what you hear all the time about New Orleans, bro. <clears throat> There's a lot of talent that comes out of here, bro. So whether it's entertainment, whether it's rappers, whether it's foot, uh, sports players... Dude, there's a lot of people, bro, that don't go to the pros and shit like that. They'd still mm-hmm. be playing. I know a dude for real, bro. Like, he's famous out here, bro. Uh, Carmouche. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And he he's in that flag football shit. Right. Okay. And bro, people down here be talking about him. Like, man, you ever seen Carmouche? You know, like really? it's just like like we love down here, bro. Like we love like local 
My yeah, definitely do Legends, love local bro. motherfuckers around here. Like, mm-hmm. seriously, bro. That's why I'm serious. That's why people know you, bro. Like, I know a lot of dudes, like, I just be in general conversation with. If I brought up Jalen Collins, they'd be like, yo, I fucking remember, dude. Like, because mm, yeah, yeah, everybody sure. just is so on them sports, bro. No, in fact, that is. That yeah, is true. Yeah. I, I, I do, I do, Will says, that's definitely true. Coming out here, anytime I come out here, bro, I'm, I'm around people that love LSU football, anything, damn. bro. I'm like, damn, what well, shit? I just got adopted. And they remember I got, everybody. I got yeah. a new family. They remember everybody, right. bro. I mean, I, dude, I see Justin Vincent uh, on liking my shit on all being all day, yeah, bro. JP. I'm like Justin Vincent. I'm like, motherfucker. I was, I was sitting in front of my grandma's television watching you run for seventy yards in the national championship <laughs> game against Oklahoma. What right. do you mean, Justin Vincent? <laughs> liking all being all day. Right, 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 right. You know, like it's crazy, man. And Memphis growing up, but well, not even growing up. Even before I was growing up, before I was born. Wrestling is big in Memphis. You know what I'm saying? Saturday wrestling, Saturday morning, you go to the to the fairgrounds or to the the uh the West the center shit, whatever. No, that shit I do called. I do remember they had the little Bro, it was like a little uh straight forward out chairs and facts. Thing, you know. A little league wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn that. Now it's New Orleans big on wrestling. I fuck with it. Oh yeah, don't don't they have the wrestle uh, WrestleMania out here or some fuck shit? Like I mean that? WrestleMania be yeah. it. But yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna bring it back to where you just Started, which was growing up, mm-hmm. and in the nineties, bro, I always questioned God, like, bro, why did you put me here during the best of this? <laughs> mm-hmm. Why did you put me here during the best of wrestling? Why did you put me here during the best of video games? Mm-hmm. Why did you put me here during the best of sports? Yeah, you know, like, so it's just like, why did you put me here to be in the civic center, which was in Saint Bernard Parish, where I'm from? And man, I saw everybody, bro. I saw. I'm talking about 96, yeah. 97. I was born in 92. I was a kid. Yeah. And I saw Junkyard Dog, you know, like just a mm-hmm. lot of legends. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, and I'm I'm misspeaking on Junkyard Dog, but I'm talking about like, dude, I saw Stone Cold before he was Stone Cold. Oh shit. You know, like yeah. he was Steve Williams or some <laughs> shit like that. Oh, that nigga Steve. Hey, yeah, yeah. He had the government. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, you know, wrestling was re- it was two Steve things that Anderson. were really dominant down here. It was wrestling and boxing. Mm. That was the two things. And um, yeah, man, I'm I'm still the, I could ha- I'm happy to say today, bro. I was there for the Attitude Era. I'm a wrestling historian. I go back looking Dusty Rhodes promos like it's nobody's business, bro. Uh, yeah, I seen y'all on my <laughs> ass. Bro. I said, I said, mankind and. Big photo with Dusty Rose. All right, bro. Fucking cares. All right? Wait, what happened? This dude love, this love. I don't give a fuck, okay? Yeah. Relax, okay? I still know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'll drop leg bomb on your ass. What the fuck? <laughs> big leg, leg big show. <laughs> Ray Mysterio your ass. Yeah, and that's... And dude, like, I still try to turn that shit on to this day, man, because I'm so loyal to it. Yeah. So Just you still cause... fuck with it today, even though it's, it don't hit you the same? No, I... And and we'd have to do like a whole nother podcast on why I really hate it today. <laughs> I hate it. It's just it's too. It's I'll be just... trying to show my boy. I was at a bachelor party about a month ago, and WrestleMania was on. Biggest, you know, you yeah, wrestling yeah. fan, man, you want to tune into WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. And I was trying to tune into it, and um, I had twenty dudes there on a bachelor party, and you know, a lot of you know this, man. A lot of people you talk to, they always you was the same thing they say when you bring up wrestling. It's fake. You know, like, yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's like, the that's the majority response. Yeah. It's like, yo, it's fake. Why are you watching that? Whatever. You could cut it a different bunch of different ways. Well, they were down to see it, right? Yeah. So I threw it on. I'm talking about 20 dudes, bro. You know, like, this is a lot of pressure right here, bro. Like, these dudes, <laughs> you know, they, they like, they want, uh, the college basketball finals was on. Yeah, March Madness. March, it was the finals yeah. was on. It was it's kinda, always the same time. It's a 10-point game, so I had to get them to be like, yo, turn on WrestleMania. It's a 10-point game. I was trying to sell them like a car. Right, right. You know, on right. WrestleMania. Turn it on. It's two chicks wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no disrespect and I'm not, to the ladies. But, no disrespect no to the ladies. Yeah, no. And, and I want to I wanna just... Right. Wait, my camera went. It's gone. <laughs> no, nah, yeah. yeah it it ran out of storage. Oh, you, you got that, you got that one now. Oh, you got, oh, you got, you got you know, I'll, look, I'll look at my fucking his eyes. So, <laughs> you know, I just want to let it be known I ain't disrespecting the women's wrestlers because there is a lot of women's matches that I like. And there's... Look, UFC women's, that's some of the best Gans. women's sports oh, yeah, as it gets yeah, right yeah. there. Gans. That's what I watch a lot of. But this shit was trash. 
You know, <laughs> let's just hey, let's put the let's 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 put the fucking meats on the charcuterie. So WrestleMania was trash. Could dude, it was two chick matches back to back, bro. How you gonna sell twenty dudes but, on two chick matches back to back? But and it's they, not they, the nineties. No, this yeah. ain't Sable coming yeah, out yeah, this showing ain't, a this ain't, this ain't China, right? No, this, this ain't, ain't Stacy Keebler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. yeah, yeah right. Right. Stacy. This yeah. ain't that Trish. Trish Stratus. This ain't that Trish. 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 Yeah. Trish. Trish. So what am I? What am I supposed to do? They trying to do a suplex. Oh yeah, facts. Nobody want to see that shit. You don't even know who out there for real. For real. So that was my last tr- attempt, and I always try, bro. I always try to put people on, you know, like because you know people come to my eyes and they start like that, that wrestling's fake shit. I turn on the Undertaker versus Mankind '98 King oh of the Ring. God, <laughs> hey, they, was, they was trying he was, to kill he each other. Most of the, the most legendary matches. <laughs> they of They was all trying time. to kill each other. Yeah, I turn them that on when they see Mankind's tooth in his nose. Hey, that motherfucker was bleeding. <laughs> they, That's they, a they, wild, bro. Because <laughs> a lot of people ain't mankind. seen that shit. No, yeah, they yeah. man, uh, but but Mankind was the one motherfucker that they will do anything to. Bro, he was, he was going to... I'm surprised. Any character, any role he was, bro. bro yeah. I'm surprised. He was getting fucked up. I'm all surprised. his roles were meant to get fucked up. Yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah. They Tank threw him Jack, off the cage. Was, Look at that. That's all the one, shit. bro. When Dude, he flipped bro. his ass off that bitch, bro. I, sh- I showed this to somebody that ain't saw wrestling. I'm telling you, bro. They leave my house a different way. Bro, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't hit this motherfucker with a car. For real, <laughs> for real. real no, nah, they did that to somebody one time. They fake like they hit him with the car. Oh, Remember that one man. time they threw somebody out the roof? What the fuck? Wait. That bit close as hell, man. Oh, bitch. they might be here to get me. Hold on. They, 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 watch out. They wrote a window they, down. We better hop on that. I'm they serious. parked bro. on the door. I got a door. few people that don't hate me out here. Not a many, but... <laughs> well, let's few. end this show. <laughs> All right. <laughs> fuck going on. Just a few. Yeah, nah. No, but no, that's probably honestly just some suburb, suburban people. No? All right, we got a security guard here. He might be looking for some sneakers. <laughs> he, about, he might be calling get some sneakers. That nigga don't want no shoes. He know he no. can't wear none of these shoes. No, that, that is just a he random... Need a that cool. Hold on, time out, time out, time out. That's not even no driver. That's a random African nigga, bro. He just parked he's on the street. Park he just parked on the sidewalk. Well, he probably works somewhere on the street. So he's like, I know this spot ain't going to get me towed. I guess. That's like I mean, every shit, spot. They're they, they going to just write you a ticket. We got one earlier. Be yeah, we right. did get a ticket in this bitch. Fuck, oh, yeah, I did? Fuck parking in the city. Yeah. I did? I mean, we didn't pay, so. so. Oh, I got 60 of them at the crib. Yeah, we don't pay none of them. They come they, from Arizona. They, you, I'm not paying nobody from Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> Who I'm going to pay from Arizona? <laughs> I don't some, even know nobody in Arizona. For some <laughs> shit happening out here? Oh, yeah, you saw it. me going 30 in a 20 on a speed zone on a Sunday. <laughs> Uh, zone, there's no school. Right, right, right. There's right. no school. No, yeah. on the school zone. On, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. There's no it school. Don't, it, don't, it don't count, yeah. Yeah, they're not in school. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fraud. Hey, yeah. before we get out here, tell the people where they can find you at, where they can find RB and R. Like, you know, tell them where they can just, so they can get in tune to your your stuff and your content. Just the ba- the easiest way that I found to relay this information is just search me up, hold the mayo. Hold the mayo. And that's on everything. It, that's on everything I know. And that's also on every platform. And that's also the easiest way to find me is hold just searching mayo. up Hold the Mayo. Like, I could tell you, hey, my Twitter's Snow Like John. But go to, go to Google and hit but, Hold but the Mayo. But my Twitter name is Hold the Mayo. So, right, right, right. you know, you remember the times where... Oh, no, give, give us the intro. Go ahead. Give us the intro for the outro. <laughs> yeah, tell them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. You remember the times where, like, people be like, yo. No, bro. This my sweater. Oh, no. Wait, you want, me, my... you want me to hold the mic so you can flap the... Flap the... <laughs> no, I got one. I'm good, man. I'm, I'm look, two tootsies to the face. I'm going to tell you right now that that just look up, hold the mail, and you will find me. And, and, and if you don't, man, I'm sorry that you didn't. But I, I think you will. Yeah, y'all got to see the, gotta see the napkin flap, bro. The... That was the beginning. They that, don't want to see that no more. No, yes, we do. Nobody knows my name no more. You used to say my name. Nobody the knows. They call me John. They think the my f- name's John Snow. Nigga, dude, I who, thought your name was John. Whose name is John Snow in the world other than the dude on HBO? That's why you got to do the fucking 300 intro. 300 billion motherfuckers. No, right? ain't no way. There's somebody out <laughs> no there. No way. Hey. If your name is John Snow, you fucking hit up the raw room. Yeah, hit Come the comments. Us, Let us know who the John Snow. I need to see your driver's license and shit. First kid get something. Two forms of identification. We're going to show his ass. If Three that, forms, actually. If there was a John Snow, he'd be on a dragon. And, and nah. I ain't seen him. <laughs> we ain't could look. Dinosaurs and dragons ain't real. Look, no. Devin, you got it. <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> I, I, I killed him. I killed him. Bro, he, start, he started with uh, who was it? Limos. Yeah, limos. Oh yeah. 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 With dinosaurs him. ain't real. Hey, hey, don't, tell you, let's not start on the dinosaurs, bro. Start, we didn't been down the dinosaurs, bro. We didn't been down the dinosaurs, bro. Like they just made Jurassic Park on some hallucinogenics. Like that shit ain't happening. 
Yes, all right. All Appreciate right. y'all listening to the wrong room. You already know what it is. Easy. If you have something to say, need a place to help you say it, check out the boys at the Raw Room Media Group to get information on recording the session. Appreciate y'all for listening. Hey, follow us. Follow us at the Raw Room, Twitter, Instagram. Follow me at Wesson underscore Sun 56 on Instagram. On Twitter, DB underscore 5 Trey. Follow your boy, JC. Uh, Jcar underscore 11, Twitter. Uh, Instagram, Jcar underscore 32. Uh, and the, the Raw Room is at Raw underscore underscore Room. Roomies, we appreciate y'all for listening. Yeah. We'll tune in for your next week. Easy. Easy.